Hello everyone, I have one more Valentine project share for every Saturday in January. I might still have one more Valentine project next month because I'm waiting for a couple dies to come in so that I can um, do those. That's what I was going to do this for this project, but they didn't come in and they're on back order, so I have to wait a little bit longer. So I came up with this idea that I wanted to do a tag with a gift card but I also wanted to do a it in like a box style as well and then I wanted to include a gift card inside with a tear or a pull um, as you can see right here this um, you pull it and that's how you open it up um, this particular box I got from Aliexpress it's the crayon box but I just glued down the opening here on the side so you can't get inside unless you just pull the tear pull here and that's how you get the contents inside okay so I'm going to show you what's inside this is what's inside and as you see I put a gift card in there but it's upside down it's a Michael's gift card and then I added some sequin and I also added some of that crepe paper um, little circles as you can see there and then there is also sequins in there now I thought this would also be a fun idea just to include a bunch of candy inside and they have to open it up with the pull tab out of there as well. So I thought that was kind of a fun idea and an embellishment that I found in my stash from Recollections from Valentine's last year. And I just added some of the stickers around here. It says XO, love you beautiful. And then it, I just added a bunch of my different stickers that I have in my stash. And then this, I really wanted to use this um, punch that I had purchased a little while ago. It is the Euro Hook Hole Punch. And I purchased it from Tuesday morning um, a little while ago. So I really wanted to use it. So I added that here at the top. And then I recently also purchased these 2D Design dies. They have the little X's all over. So I purchased them in the squares, circles, the ovals, and the rectangle. And I used a lot of these dies, um, as you can see here at the top, and then also um, right here, um, just around the edges here. And that's kind of how I made my tag, just by using a bunch of those dies that I um, put together and that ended up to be my tag and then I can hang it on like a gift for somebody um, for any occasion any holiday really and um, I just thought it was really fun and then they get to pull the tab to retrieve the gift card and then there's gonna be little bits that are gonna go everywhere when they open it up as well so put a shaker in there and then I also used vellum for this one these dies they cut out really really well and I did purchase these from a cherry on top, in case you're wondering. And then here's another box, um, little tag that I used. Um, it says, Mega Babe, love you forever. And then here is a little pull tab that you pull to open it up. And um, I also used those dies here at the top. I just stacked the two circles there and then the square here at the bottom. And so it just kind of fits around. And again, this is the crayon box that I purchased from AliExpress. So here's this one. Then I added a heart here at the top. And then um, some twine, which I'll probably add to all of them if you know when I use them and everything. And then I'm just going to hang it from a gift. So there's that one. And then I made a couple with a mini envelope die. And then here's a little pull here to get the gift card inside. And it's just a little gift card mini envelope die that I purchased from AliExpress as well. And then I just layered a bunch of those dies here and then here at the top. And then this is just some ephemera from Recollections from last year. So there is another one. And then here is the last one. And then this is the ephemera from Recollections from last year. And I found some stickers in my stash. I just layered up the dies in different paper. And again, I just cut out the envelope with the little pull here, so they pull it open. And inside has the crepe paper um, bits as well as sequin bits and then a gift card behind it. 
so when they open it up they are going to get not just a surprise but a messy surprise and then um, a bow here and I just really like the way these turned out I just was kind of thinking about what I wanted to do with the new dies that I purchased as well as the um, the hole punch right here and this is kind of what I came up with and I I thought it was really fun and then you just you know again you just add it on a gift I have one more thing to share with you and it is this little basket it is a tag basket and I will show you um, the tag that I used you can't hardly see the tag anymore because I added so many um, other dies there in front of it like the heart and the bow here I included some little bit of candy inside and at the top here I added some twine and then here is the other side I added a little something on both sides I always like to do that if there is a two sides to something I like to just add something to the other side so it says be mine and then I just added a bunch of my dies and layered those there and this is a tag basket and the tag that I used to create it was the tag scallop um, super scallop die it's kind of hidden I had a lot of fun creating these I hope you'll give these a try as well um, really really fun and quick and easy Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.